Very beautiful. How are you? Oh, I hear you. I've had working the motor for nine months. It sucks. I've had walking pneumonia for nine months. For nine months, yeah. Because none of the antibiotics they're giving me are kicking it out. <coughs> what is that? That give the symptoms of pneumonia. Well, I'll have to talk to my doctor about that tomorrow. It's not anything we've ever discussed, but at this point, I'm trying to leave no stone unturned because I've been in and out of the hospital too many times. And <coughs> doctor's office. I'm sorry, what? I don't care if they're natural, homeo, or anything else. At this point, I need a path that gets me healthy. I'm tired of being sick and cranky. Will you cleanse with me, darling? When's your next cleanse? Maybe we'll cleanse together. <coughs> okay, I'm ready. Let me know when you want to begin. No, it's just we're ramping up rapidly and we're not making them employees, we're making them independent contractors until we <coughs> fund at a higher level because as employees there's much higher liability. You have all the other accoutrements that go with that fund. Whereas if it's an independent contractor, you remove some of that liability. No, I said a W-9. Yeah, that's attached with the independent contractors who came in the NBA. That was that. Yeah, there were like five documents there. Because <coughs> if you look at the services page on live video, we're marketing about 120 services globally. But if you're offering certain services that you do that we don't have on that, we could add that and white label of the brand and we sell them for you. LiveVideoInc.com and then go to, yeah, like a corporation, then go to the uh, uh, services page. And, yeah, and then on the services page, um, it'll have summaries of the different services, but if you click on it, it'll take you to the full expanded summary to explain if you don't want to Because <coughs> there's so much stuff there. I mean, we talk about makeup, post, a lot of it. It's all. There's a lot of it that's very television, film, multimedia intensive, but then there's also like holistic, some holistic service like, you know, massage therapy and things like that. But you may be doing stuff I'm not aware of that may also fit. everybody. I work for Fox, NBC, ABC, Sony. There's not a network I don't consult or insult on a regular basis and produce stuff for. But live video is my company and I do this. But we're also going through a rather big expansion because it's taken me five years to convince J.P. Morgan that they want to put $10 billion behind. Well, once I get all the business plan together and who all the players are, but yeah, the business plan is to roll out full studios record label and seven television networks. <coughs> so that's why we're doing everyone as independent contract. Yeah, or I'll never get these things done. Mm -hmm. Yes, darling. I'm ill. Come save me. Be my savior. May 31st. 
yes. A triple Gemini, I'm told. What are you? Oh, you're a passionate lover, but if I ever piss you off, I'll die a slow and cruel death. Me, I try to get along with everybody, but I do break out in sarcasm because I'm allergic to assholes and stupidity. Yeah, I, I'm honest about that. I I have, um, but I, are you in a relationship right now? Good, because I don't want to embarrass myself by saying I was in a relationship the times we had gone out to see some films, and that's part of the reason I didn't try or move on you in any type of romantic fashion. No, no, I said I was in a relationship when we're seeing some of those films. And so that's why I never tried to pursue anything romantically with you because I felt that would be inappropriate. Uh, but she just never wanted to go to anything ever. She wouldn't go do a red carpet. She wouldn't go do anything. And so I don't know which. No, we never were married um, because she never got divorced. She had been away from that relationship for like eight or ten years and kept saying she was going to get divorced and never did. We we were together eight years, but when I asked her to start repaying on her debt after floating her a quarter of a million debt to start repaying on the next hundred she racked up, um, that's when she decided my life was getting too popular and she must leave and leave me with all of the debt. My credit card, she was a authorized user and she racked up a hundred grand in debt and then decided when I asked her to start paying down the debt that she was leaving. Yeah, so she left last June and then dealing with the fallout of that, still trying to figure out how I'm going to get that debt reassigned to her or I don't know what yet. I'll figure it out. Karma's a bitch. What, are you an ex stiff do for a lot of shit? Okay, so then you know what I'm talking about. And some people are like, oh, well, you let it happen. Well, no, actually, I didn't. I let her use my credit cards and I know she was going to be a hog wild. Um, and when you love somebody, you don't think, oh, I'm about to be fucked raw here. So, you know, you know what that's like. How old are you now? I've never... No way. You look like you're in your 20s, 30s. Well, God's been good to you. So, would you consider going out with a guy like me someday, maybe? I know, and so at least you know one thing's for sure, if we're in a relationship, I won't be cheating on you. That should be somewhat reassuring, shouldn't it? Because I was highly attracted to you, I so wanted to go out with you, but I didn't want to break up a relationship because she didn't want to go to films. And I didn't want to be faithful either, so I thought I I thought when we went out I was a good job. At least I convinced myself I Well but you never asked either. It's not like you Somehow you got very off mic, I can hardly hear you at all. Oh, and I didn't know that. Had I known that, I probably would have considered why I was still in what I was in. Um, but here, regardless, things happen when they're supposed to happen. Well, I desperately need some people inside helping if you're available for something like that. I, well, yeah, I don't expect you to work for free. No, no, I get your off mic again. I don't know why I'm there. I think, no, it was me. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Disregard everything I've said about you being off mic. It helps if I keep the volume turned up. Um, no, I, and, and there are some projects where if you want to work on them, <coughs> they would be deferred comp but um, the stuff that needs to be done right now is not deferred comp it is paid well it's deferred in that you paid it twice a month at the beginning and at the end of the month and you, you bill so there is a two week from the time you start or whatever that number works to be 
Um, but there's also a percentage override, so if you book a lot of business on the books, you get a percentage of it, so it's an incentive to do well. So it's not just you paid, there's an override, so if you're doing well, you make more money. Yeah. If you can make 100000 a year doing this, I'd love to see you do it. It's admitting me for auditions, it's <coughs> setting up bookings, schedules, <coughs> <laughs> it's handling my life basically. <laughs> Make sure I get well. <laughs> and help me get these presentations done. <laughs> well, I've been doing it, but it's been a struggle. I really have to plan it well and be really well hydrated and rest my voice a lot. It's planned. Email me or text that I'm driving right now so I'm not making notes. And I, I don't want to forget that. <coughs> well, this sounds like fun. <laughs> Not, but being sick and coughing my lungs out for nine months isn't fun either. I fractured my ribs so many times from coughing and other incidents that pain has become a good friend. And I mean that in a very sarcastic way. I called my masseuse to see if she's available tonight because I am so tight that if I don't get a massage, I think I'm just going to not sleep for another month. And I was so bad the last time she came over, she, the first hour of the 90 minutes was her just trying to get my muscles loosened enough so I could even lay flat on the table. Because I, I was just that intense, I couldn't even lay down. Oh yeah. Well, there's been a little stress with the ex leaving and also sabotaging my company and then cyber criminals. It's, you know what, it's gonna make for a great movie. But it's been a fucking nightmare to live through. Unless June. Unless June, unless July. It's been a while. It's not like I broke up and then immediately picked up the phone and called you either. I thought that would be inappropriate. There, there has to be some time to put your head back on straight when she goes like that. I feel, I feel more centered and grounded and I feel responsible with my phone call versus irrationally making a phone call out of a desperate attempt for companionship. Whether you were going to say yes or no to work or to any relationship wasn't as important as to make sure that I was grounded before I even asked because I've been in enough shitty relationships. I don't need to add another to the collection. And I think I've, I've realized something. I need to get some people around me who have good people pickers because I, if I have a character defect, it's trying to save everyone from their own dumb ass, and I don't need to keep doing that. It's costing me a fortune, and it's exhausting the fuck out of me. Um, and also, I've always consciously tried to stay out of relationships with anyone in the industry because of the potential politics, trade magazines, whatever. And that's probably been the biggest mistake in my life. And the reason I say that is because other people not in our industry think you're fucking around if you're out for an 18 hour day when in fact you really might be just legitimately on a set shooting and it's been a long day and I don't know about you but when you got somebody at home nagging the hell out of you when you get there after an 18 hour day because now it's 20 hours because uh, you had to get there and get back um, the last thing I want to do is walk home with all that noise so sometimes I would rather just stay on the sled sled stay on the flat, stay on the slut, stay on the set and, and sleep in a green room or something, then go home and deal with the aggravation. And Well, when you've gone through some shitty relationships and some devastating things in your life, which I've done both, 
Um, when somebody shows you any kind of kindness, you're kind of like a puppy dog and you warm up to it. And you're blinded to other stuff you should be looking at, like the fact that from day one she was always calling mom or other people to bail her out financially because she was a spendaholic. Um, but even when we moved in and I'd say, uh, she's in, I think she's 50, she's about 63, she's like 52 now. So, I mean, she was in her 40s and still having mommy pay her bills. That should have been a huge red flag. But again, being the, I want to help everybody, I try to help her learn how to do her finances. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 56. Yeah, well, that was her decision, not mine. Yeah, she decided my life was getting too popular and that she wanted nothing to do with celebrity, uh, and she left. I think the real reason was because she was a serial portfolio stalker, and I didn't realize until after she moved out, and I found one of her diaries and saw that she had done this with several other guys. She got and sponged off them until they got tired of paying all the bills, and they said, get the fuck out of here. So... That was a rude eye opener to realize I wasn't the first victim in her serial stocking of portfolios. But should have been a clue that she didn't really ever like to work a lot. She got stressed easily. She liked to go to the spa a lot, liked to hang with the girls. And she didn't want to go out and do a lot of stuff with me. And sex was never really that good. So there should have been a lot of clues. But Kurt was trying to save a relationship because for some stupid reason, I've always wanted to have a relationship and a family, even though she never wanted to have children. I was willing even to give that up to make the relationship work. So I can honestly say that when I get into a relationship, I give it my best shot. But it takes two to tango. As I'm driving by someone's house, I heard that dog. That's how loud that fucking thing was. I was driving by at like 30 miles an hour and we both heard the dog. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, do you like cats at all? No. Well, could, could, could you try and like cats a little? I have six of them. I'll share them with you. Oh, okay. I guess I'm cat man do. I like dogs too, they just don't play well with cats unless they're the right kind of dog. Uh, or vice versa, depending on the size of the dog. Um, and these cats are... Oh, well then the cats would get along with her then. They'd figure out how to get along. They would coexist, but irregardless. said some cats and dogs do get along it's just you have to find the right blend um question have you ever thought of having a family and where do you lay on that I'm so sorry for you. Do you still want to have children?
How long ago was this? How long ago was this? Yours is much more recent than mine. Can I just offer that if, if you would ever consider that, you, I would be so open to that. I've always wanted to have children, but but I, I but I also realize you have to have a willing partner. That, that goes a long way. Yeah, and in all the relationships I got into where I thought I was going to have children, they decided the money was more important than the family. Or they were just all portfolio stockers, I don't know. I'd love to have had three to five of them by now, but, you know... Well, let me ask you this, from what you've known of me. We've known each other, what, three years now? Four? Something like that? It's been a while. Four or five? I know it was at AFM years ago. Um, I would think if I'm going to be a sociopath, you might have found that out by now, but maybe not. I don't know what your definition of a sociopath is, but I'd like to offer that if we could consider going out since we both know we're not in relationships right now and we're both kind of wounded souls and just take it easy and see how it goes, I would welcome it with open arms. If you would. If not, I'll stand down. I'll go in the corner over there. What? What were you going to say? I said, I said it, yeah, I said if you're not open to a relationship, I'll go stand in the corner over there. I was just being a smart ass, dry sense of humor, you know, trying to be, trying to be cute. Well, neither do I, but I know I've felt good things about you for a long time, and at least, even if you haven't, at least I said them, and I won't kick myself for never saying them. Well, I'm actually better looking now than ever, because I've lost a lot of weight. Stress will do that to you, and getting off all the synthetics will do that to you. I had actually gotten up to almost 300 pounds. I've lost like eh, 70 of it. Yeah, and I want to lose another. I want to get back down to a good camera weight, which for me would be losing probably another 60 pounds. I would still look good on camera, but I'd look great on camera if I was another 60. Here, regardless, so you have a ride for Saturday. Okay. Because um, I thought if you didn't, I'd give you a ride down or. If, Are you going to that bride show or whatever the hell that is down there in Long Beach? There's a big trade show for brides or something. <coughs> There's some big bridal trade show down in Long Beach this weekend, I think. Would you go to that if I can find out details? Or no interest? Okay. Have you ever gone to one? Well, I don't know, maybe you picked up some... I don't know if you would even want to do trade show and you know, thing like that. I don't know, maybe you would work with one of the booths at a future trade show if they like you and you like them. I don't know, I'm just suggesting thoughts. I don't know, would you be looking for a bridal dress? No, wow, we went from zero to 60. Hey, would you consider a relationship? Let's go get a bridal dress this weekend. We'll be in Vegas by Sunday. Wow, okay, this is fun. No, I meant maybe, I don't know if you would do modeling at a trade show, but maybe you could do like some kind of naughty, naughty bridal attire if that's, you're so inclined. I don't know, I was just presenting opportunities. Yeah, no, or a bridal show where you can find the gown, plan ahead. Shop early, shop often. Hey girl, I like that dress. Here's 50 bucks. Take it off. It got lost, right? I don't know. I was just coming up with an excuse if you're already going to be down there. I'm finding a way to hang with you early. I was just trying to create an opportunity. I confess. No, I said if I could find out would you be interested in going. It could be one of those things that's like pretty fucking crazy. Or, yeah, it might be fun. So I just threw it out there. I don't know if you do museums or walks in the park. I don't know what what your likes are. I haven't read your your 
what is what are those dating sites? Plenty of fish or whatever, Jew date or, or whatever they call those things where you read people's profiles. Those dating sites like Matchmakers or whatever, where it says you know I like walks in the park. I like I I haven't read your profile, so I don't know your likes and turnoffs. Do you have a profile where I could find this information so I could be up to speed? Yeah. No! So I'll just... I'll have to learn... I'll have to... I don't have one either, that's what I said. So I'll have to learn the old-fashioned way. I'll actually have to do asking, trial and error, that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah. You're distracted. You sound fabulous right now. In, in a, can I come and feel you to make sure you feel terrible so I know what terrible feels like? Well, no, I'm saying, could I come and feel you so I know what terrible feels like so I can do a comparison? Oh, you missed my humor, I guess. Ha uh ha. -huh. Alright, my apologies. Alright, have a great afternoon. Feel better? Alright. Bye bye. Okay, that got weird quick. <coughs> I need to slow down, buddy. Hmm. Jim P. Jim P. Jim P. Jim P. Jim P. Gen P. Kurt Kelly. 310-925-2709 or 579-5703. I... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Gen P. Yes, it was Gen P.
Okay, it's current 310-925-2719 or 424-644-3068. Okay. your deal, dude? Yeah. <laughs> 